Bud's got a hard on for guns like he's got a hard on for cars, okay? Uh, Chevy's to be exclusive. The guy's got every machine gun you could ever find, every automatic weapon. The guy moved to Nevada to have that, but he told me California's dropping off the edge of the earth, so who knows if he really just wanted to own automatic weapons, or he thought after the quake he's going to be at the beach now. He grew up in Long Beach. He told me after the quake he'll be in Long Beach again, baby. So come on, you know what I mean? He's a pretty smart guy. Hey, this is Bud from Del Mar. Let's go inside and check out my gun. I think about 10,000 out of their whole career. Colts made lots and lots of firearms, but I wouldn't even know how many millions of firearms they've made, but I'm sure they've made quite a few. Um, this one here is a double barrel side-by-side -side shotgun, short barrel shotgun, stage rifle. And this one still has a price tag on it. Wells Fargo and Company stamped into the butt stock, Damascus barrels. I can see, I can identify with the old west uh, fashion and, and uh, fanaticism there because it was a time when people were free. You had all this uncharted territory, you're roaming around on your forest. There were no stoplights or, or road signs to tell you where to go. Sometimes if there was, there was a stake in the ground telling you, you are here. They didn't tell you how far in miles because it, has, it wasn't traveled before. It was a new thing. Keep it in a lever action rifles. This is a cowboy rifle of history. See, and it's been taken well care of. <laughs> See these round shaped right there? They used it as a hammer to pound the wheels of the stagecoach back on. This is a Winchester 1864 Virginia City stage rifle. Virginia City, Nevada, where the, all the gold and the silver came from. This was a stage rifle. It was in the Comstock Load Museum for for years, so it's got some local history on it. The action story. It works. It's 3220 caliber, kind of a cowboy round. Um, but like I said, it's got a lot of local history. This was used on the stagecoach to protect the stagecoach going down to the Mint in uh, San Francisco and to the banks down there in Sacramento and San Francisco. So it saw a lot of action. A lot of these nicks and scars are probably from cowboys' teeth and rustlers and wranglers and maybe even a few Indians. And like I said, they used it as a hammer a few times too. So uh, it's really well uh, rugged tool from the uh, Old West. Um, and this is just like, you know, some loose odds and ends that I've had. I got my duck gun in there and a 7mm mag rifle for hunting big game. I didn't shoot this fucking thing you did. <laughs> I did. You want to see? It's fully automatic fucking machine gun. Here's the hatch, hatch hole right there. There's another hole right there where I shot it. What the hell? What do they think? They could just walk all over India? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like people like try and survive over there. They don't. They don't eat cows. But they eat cats. <laughs> Big Bengal tiger. Just out of curiosity, what did you use to shoot that tiger? Uh, it was a M1A Abrams tank. <laughs> <laughs> there was uh, one I saw on the auction block that was actually a uh, was used in uh, filming episodes of MASH and a few other uh, TV shows and movies. It was non-operational, of course. You know, the barrel was plugged up, but everything else worked about it. the turret, you know, and the boom and everything. It all worked. So, so uh, I was interested in buying it. They wanted about. I think fifty or sixty thousand dollars for it, so it's pretty affordable as far as tanks go these days. But um, yeah, it's a that would be fun to have a tank. I wouldn't mind having a little tank. Anything that goes boom, I like things that go boom. We like the guns, the guns that go boom. We're Budley and Nikki, and we like the boom. <laughs> but yeah, he's got guns, baby. He's gonna be able to defend his place. When you see me next, I'll be in South Lake Tahoe with the MP5 strapped to my side.